Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Nut here today and we are looking at the Transformers Legacy United vs. 4-Pack as a Target exclusive and well technically we're only looking at two of the 4-Pack, the other two are going to Moose and what you see in front of you of course on your left is Squeeze Play and on your right is Tarn and uh, Squeeze Play of course from the Headmasters, uh, his Japanese name I think is Cancer uh, and then of course on the right is the Cyberverse version of Tarn which uh, I guess in some lore, maybe the clone of the original Tarn. I don't know. I just like the way he looks better. I had the other Voyager Tarn, but when I saw this one, I was like, yeah, I definitely need to get this one. Because this is the first time I was introduced to Tarn was during Cyberverse. So, uh, let's quickly get to Tarn. And um, Tarn has a bunch of highlights on him that the original one didn't. And he comes with a sword. And, uh, yeah, I think he looks pretty nifty. I uh, especially like the way the purple and the red work together. Um, but, I, I mean, my biggest complaint right now is just uh, third, second or third time. No, this is like the third or fourth time this mold has been used. And he's just loose in some places. And it's, it's weird. Like, things just don't necessarily want to stay. I don't know. But uh, let's quickly take a look at his weapon. So, his first weapon is the sword, I think... It came with bludgeon, and they just recolored it for him. I'm sorry if it's blurry. Uh, yeah, so nothing too fancy. He has a port on it if, if you want to, like, put it on his arm or something. Um, you know, make him feel like Wolverine or <laughs> Deadpool from the Wolverine Origins movie. Anyway, let's just put that aside. He also comes with this backpack, which is the same one he has on the other forms and bludgeon. Uh, comes with two pistols that attach through this rotating... A bit here that you can adjust however you need and um, of course the pistols are not exactly the same are they more cannons I don't know and tank mode they're definitely cannons uh, but yeah they look pretty good nice red highlights in here uh, they're clear plastic which is why the headlights exist and of course when we remove all that stuff you can see really where the color is on Tarn here um, got some nice golds you got the reds the purples the dark blues uh, I would say navy blue adventure but uh, yeah it's just and then this maroon color kind of just peeks out uh, very nice so I guess we will get into the converting part of it and um, there's just uh, a bunch of little things you have to do to get things into place and the weirdest part is the arms uh, I'm gonna pull the backpack off here and I'm gonna flip these down before I forget so you know these like this his head flips his head flips somewhere uh, hold on I'm like there we go. Kick this up. Slide these out. Head flips back. There we go. Make sure that bit is all the way around there. That way the head is hiding pretty well. Uh, so we are going to move the arms up. And we are going to open up. Come on. There is this hinge here. I'm going to open this up. And this up. And um, we're going to force the arm to kind of... I feel like this is the wrong way. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Force the arm to do this so we can cover it like this. So hopefully not too complicated to figure out, but uh, it's, it's a weird angle thing just to get the treads in the way you need them. Um, so we pulled these out. Let's see if I can get the... Well, here, let's do this. I am going to fold the feet up. As you see, they're like this, and they're going to come back a little bit too. I'm going to turn this this way. Uh, come on, let me fold my feet. Ah, oh, there you go. I don't know what they're stuck on. Well, I mean, obviously not that, but there we go. So, is, is it? Um, no, there isn't. Okay, it's like is it a little clip or something? But there isn't. Very weird. Keep these going down. I'm going to straighten these up because if you do it right, then this side pops up here. Uh, fold this down like this. You see there's little tabs here. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, the feet will fold in that in a moment. Um, you can turn the hands. Oh, wow, the fingers are so tight. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we had to pull the knees out and lengthen them, and there we go. And then, ah, oh, yes, now it lines up. There is a tab, or slide here for this tab. And uh, it also catches in on this tab here as you slide it in. 
Come on. There we go. And it really locks it into place really well. And uh, we end up with this. Although it feels like it's a little off, but hold on. Yeah, I mean, it's a hover tank. There's no wheels. I don't know why I was like, like wheels. Uh, but before we put everything on, this is what it looks like. Clearly a robot is underneath. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's a little off. And, you know, something to work on later for myself. But, you know, more or less, it's, it's fine. You can reposition the hands if you want. I'm fine with the way they are. Okay. So, attach this piece. Um, trying to figure out which way I want to attach this. So, this attaches in the slot here. And you can, let's see. Yeah, I want to attach them like this. And like this. And then, um, I figure why not. We can attach this like this. And we get this thing. And it does uh, 270, 300. Which is pretty good. And that is this version of Tarn in uh, hover tank mode. Okay, so next up is Squeeze Play. He is a headmaster. Here's what he looks like. It's very... I mean, there's no writing here, which is weird. I, I don't know if I knew there was going to be some or expected or something. I, don't, I just feel like it was missing, you know? But, uh, yeah, pretty neat. Um, it's like the mouth, does that move? No, the mouth doesn't move. Oh, well. Um, it's okay. It's the same mold as Draculus. Uh, here is his pistol browning. Just a, you know, a handgun. And then, of course, he has this tail piece, which also doubles as a shield. And, of course, there's the head. The head does pack separately, so you have to attach it. It attaches a couple pegs down here. And then, of course, uh, the head. Come on. And the head is his headmaster. Although, in Japanese lore, it's, you know, a, a non sentient being. And then, you know, this here. So, anyway, so he uh, operates upside down because that is the way the mold works. And uh, so the first step is to fold the hands in and attach the uh, arm to the leg point. Come on, there you go. There is a little uh, peg that goes into the hole here. Make sure you have it the right way. And then you can do this. Uh, so while we're doing that, we are going to flip out the feet and make them into claws. And, uh, let's see, there's a peg kind of on here that goes into his, I mean, you know, it, it goes there. <laughs> Probably not the most comfortable place for it, but, uh, that's where it goes. Um... Let's see, here's this down like this. You put the tail on. Flip the leg about. Like, so this was the wing part on the other form, and they kind of just put a piece on here. Honestly, I don't know what purpose it really serves. But, uh, you know, it's there. Uh, some people have preferences about how the legs are mounted. You, you do you. I particularly don't have that reservation. Of course, you can open up the chamber here. And you can seat him. And you can close the chamber up. That way you don't lose him. And then and I'm like, where do you put the gun? Um... I guess you can put it in the tail. And this is what Squeeze Play looks like. Oh, when his head gets ripped off. Uh, this is how you reattach it, by the way. It's just two simple pegs. Uh, but yeah, right there in the joint there. And this is him in his uh, beast mode, I guess. So, you know, very simple. Nothing too fancy there. And it's fine. Uh, I think it finishes the collection of uh, of the uh, it's not headmasters. It's uh, master force. There you go. So yeah, finally have that finished. And so that is it for this set for the two I have. 
With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.